Hey everyone, I wanted to show you my latest and greatest haul. Um, I did this over a couple days time, but um, my local craft store, The Doodlebug, was having a second hand sale, which is like a garage sale for all of us crafters. We can bring in our stuff and then we can um, buy each other stuff or um, that's how it works. So it's really awesome, but I did buy some full price items as well, but let me start with what I got. Um, this I did pay full price for, but I needed a, just a basic little ABC, um, set. And this one's called Smitty's ABCs. So I got that. And then I got this case in the second hand sale. It didn't have the Copics in it. Um, I'm just starting a collection of the Copics. And, um, I needed something to kind of store them in, um, something a little nicer, um, so it's easy for me to grab off the shelf. Then I got this and this, and they're stamping up. You can see that. And I got these sets, and these two work together. And I got a few of these pen. They're called Le Pen, and they write real fine line. And I got these for $1.69 each, and I got a couple of other colors, but my daughter's already run off with those. So, um, there's those. And then, to me, this is the fine for me. Um, I know it's probably not meant to use for this. It's probably for, like, the re-inkers or whatever. But what I'm using it for um, is to hold my alcohol inks and my mixatives and all my little extras that I need for the artwork. So that's what I'm using that. And I got this for $4. So to me it was well worth it to get this. And it has a nice little handle. And I can just sit it over here. Maybe out of the way. Right there on my table. And then when I need to move it. Great. And then I'm sure some of you recognize this punch. It's a real popular Stampin' Up! punch. And I don't believe it has the name on it. Paper Shapers, that's all it says. So, cut it and it gives you a nice, um, oh, I can't think of the word. You know what I'm saying um, for the end of your page. So, that was, I believe I spent $5 on that. But to me, it's worth it because I've always wanted this um, certain punch. I got this for a dollar. I thought these were super cute. The other ones, I'm just going to antique them up um, and put them on a book something or somewhere, wherever. And then I thought this was super cute. This is really, um, you could tell it's kind of an old, um, you could tell by the way it was used for outside um, ribbon. So it's kind of heavy duty, but it has coffee, tea um, on it. And I got that for 50 cents, and it's barely been used, but I really like that. So, it, it's durable, so I'm not for sure what I'll do with it yet, but I do like that. Then, the next thing, excuse the items in that, well, a couple of the items I did get from the secondhand sale. I got this container. I got this little item. I'm going to put it on a book. Or something. I'm not for sure what to make with it yet. Um, these little keys. Some of these brads. And you can just kind of see down here. Um, and these are just little embellishments that I'm going to add to different things. And these cute little pearl brads. I thought were cute. And I got this for either 50 cents or 75 cents. All these little items here and I got that for 50 cents or 75 cents I'm not sure which one then I got I always wanted a pair of these I'm going to start using these for um, cutting some pop cans up I want to start making some little flowers and embellishments with that I got these, which I thought were really, really pretty. I thought they'd be pretty on a book or something like that. 
And then my daughter loves collecting wine corks. And these kind of had different shapes in them. Like this one has a clock on the bottom. But she really liked those, so I better give those back to her. She's sitting at the end of the table waiting to grab them. And I paid full price for these, but I really liked them. They're the new gumdrops that you can call her. I mean, you can call her all of them, but, um, or I have anyway. But um, I thought these were really cute, and I wanted the heart-shaped ones. And then I got this. It says, Thanks. And it's the word shadow dies from pink and main. Of course, this was a full price item, but I did like it a lot. And then this, um, I got them for, there was two bags, and I got them for a dollar each, and I threw them all into one bag. But as you can tell, the real heavy duty metal, um, they got different words, flowers, um, different little sentiments on them. Some of them, um, some of them were stuck together, but I th thought this would be really neat to use. See, some of them have got this on it. Um, would be neat, antiqued, and um, weathered. That one's got some stickies on it I can get off. But anyway, I got a full bag of these for $2 for all these little sentiments and whatnots in there. Um, that I can use and like I said they are metal so they got some weight to them but um, so that's what my big I feel like I'm missing something else yeah I already showed that um, my daughter was pointing out something for me um, I think I put something else away but that's okay anyway I got these all these little goodies like I said at my local craft store um, make sure that you find out if your local craft stores have anything like that. Um, maybe even mention to your local craft store, your scrapbook store, um, to have something like that. Because I know our lo local store um, does it every year, once a year. And it's really successful and you can really get some good buys. Um, especially on the half off days, it's awesome. So, um, everybody have a great week and happy crafting.